ngunit nang nagkaroon na ng service yung tubig sa kabayanan, mayroong public at mayroong private na repo, halos di na pinupuntahan ang bukal na ito upang paliguan. At lalo na yung daanan ay naging masuk masukal at hindi na da halos madaanan dahil uh, nalipat yung nag naglagay ng panibagong ibang bagong daanan at lalo na doon sa konkretong maluwag na daanan na ibang, sa ibang barangay. Kaya halos hindi na ito madalas puntahan, hindi tulad ng dati na linaw ng tubig na in inumin. Kahit pa noon daw panahon pa ng kupong-kupong, ika nga sabi ng mga Tagalog o mga Bicol man. Balit kayo ay unti-unti na rin naman uli binibisita ng mga tao dito. Dahil medyo lubakas na naman ang agos dito ng tubig. Bumibisita sa lugar na ito pagamat ito ang aming puntahan dati nung kami bata pa upang maligo, maglinis ng mga gamit, mga plato, mga halabahan. Hi mga kak-youtubers! Tayo po ngayon ay narito sa Papuntang uh, Iraya Spring dito sa Barangay Madlawon. Maririnig po natin yun ang mga ibon. Hindi po yan edited, yan po ay aktual huni ng ibon. Ngunit bago po tayo magpatuloy, hayaan nyo po muna ako magpakilala sa inyo ng aking channel. Hi YouTubers, this is Awonjo for Kado Vlogs. Life environment, music and travel. YouTubers, don't forget to support my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will always advance my vlogs. Thank you. Youtubers are now in Tanag sa pa one of the four parts of Irayas Stream Subsidiary Stream One's very important stream for every barangay Madlawon's box in the past for taking a bath, washing dishes, clothes, etc. This is my first visit after a uh, longer years in staying in Manila or after my town became being modernized with electricity and water system for public and public utility. The other videos ahead of this one were about one of the most famous attractions in the town of Bulosa and Sosigan. But this time our exploration is about Barangay or town's natural beauty or attraction in which we can consider it ordinary or commonly considered region. However, we have not to ignore or belittle this natural beauty, especially if this part or place was not only an attraction but because part of people's pa uh, part of life in the town uh, particularly the barangay Madlawon in Bulus we know that land, air and water are our vital necessities in order for us to live and survive and this video is about one of barangay Madlawon's source of potable water since the time immemorial. With grandfather, grandparents, and our parents had or have and stories of the strenuous experience here. The utility and importance of this spring, but also mysterious and experience here, this water source is called the Iraya Spring in Madlawa. This spring was one of the potable water source uh, crystal clear available in Barangay Madlawo. The other one is the bigger spring of Bugas Cave. Now I am in the introducing this smaller area spring. This area spring was fully the part of almost every aspect of life of Madlawo, Barangay Madlawo, because in this spring, Madlawo and King Hill with the water for drinking, for bathing, and bathing for bathing cells, for washing clothes, and this happened even after the coming of public water system or supply 
where Madla won where Bugas gave Spain was the source. This stream or sapa setanat was or is only a part of four parts of the Las Spring Street, and that in the Solay Bagu Valley is the main source of this water stream where people in the past had their choice of which stream where they can wash their clothes, take a bath, but the most clean of course is the main source of the Rayas Spring in the Solay Bagu Valley. Since area spring is located at the center spring west of Madlawong, the people who are who lives near this place uh, were used to be here for its crystal clear and one of the cleanest potable water in, bar in this barangay or even in the town. Bugaskib spring became the source for water supply for barangay Madlawong. This area spring was not yet because the people still visit this for taking a bath and cleaning utensils, especially for busy visions like town fiesta, when public water was busy for many people who use the public water system. Iraya Spring was a contemporary or a traditional or conventional native culture for its attitude custom and implements or materials they would use for living like lahok, a bamboo vessel for toba or coconut brandy, for hungot a coconut shell or deeper used for drawing water, but yeah, a wooden basin for washing clothes. And then use also panho or hair shampoo like from a mixed herbal leaves and a kind of vines used as gum. Polosunon used also hero. A rough stone used for cleaning the body with soap, seed as spans, uh, serve as a spans, and many other traditional way of living connected to Irayas spring. Long before or even before the coming of Bulosan water system for private use, this Iraya, Iraya spring was not only a part of traditional utensils but also of ancient or old faith connected to people's custom to behavior of other people and natural to natural beauty they respect the natural beauty of the environment like this area spring we would say their faith and custom to be obsolete backward and forgotten yet we couldn't underrate their good attitude behavior when it comes to respect, how they respect the environment, how they maintain cleanliness and respect the trees and all the living within the natural paths like this. They give credence that this natural beauty must be respected because the place are the territory of invisible beings like fairies, elves and other immortals who use or hover or who are living here. Many people had actual experience about we had felt and what we had seen here, and what they smell, hear, see, and what they feel in this place. Some experience here to see a palace or other strange place in other dimension, which are unexplainable to an ordinary understanding of human beings. For some experience here to be being entered into other dimension or of the enchanted kingdom or rel uh, relative to mine had an experience here to be being manifested by fairy where she heard a sound of someone who was cooking uh, the food the food utensils was being prepared she smelled like someone was cooking when she was uh, washing her clothes she smelled an onion or garlic which was being fried on the pan with the food uh, prepared. Later, she heard like someone was cleaning the dishes like they'd already finished eating their food. This had happened, this had happened while my sister was washing her clothes. 
in the very spot where area spring is located meanwhile while she was uh, controlling her fear the water flow from the spring was already mixed with us like an asphalt or as from the kitchen mixed with water from the area spring by God's grace uh, my sister went home without experiencing a spell being spellbound or uh, spirit possession unlike some other who experience where the possessed uh, they behave uh, like they were out of their mind others would not return home for three days experience like a uh, spirit possessions of the fa- or the fairies living in this kind of enchanted place other also had told about they saw here are uh, precious gemstones of necklace and other expensive things while when the moment they touched these golden treasures what did that were a mere large vines crawling around the trees i have many more actual stories to tell about this area which can be described as strange obsolete and backward to our most advanced sophisticated time today but i have to or i have to choose only some of these stories of actual experience to share to you for this blog do this experience were true in actual or the personal experience we couldn't be certain to conclude that this experience were reality or true in actuality or only a work of hallucination like experience while well, the people who tell this experience are not out of their mind for they did not experience hallucination nor they did not experience of being charmed or being spellbound or expelled by fairies or spirit and they had returned home or they returned home in a right ordinary time issue of human being while others they had told about only one hour or one day in the other dimension while they had been lost from their home for three days while others returned home with a normal behavior and speech while others had an experience of being lost for only an hour or for other three days etc when they returned home they tell stories about experience of a golden kingdom and palace which they wouldn't find we couldn't find we uh the they wouldn't find their own home because they had been lost in their way as three that's my opinion what i can only say whether this experience were true to others or not we have a message that all of these natural beauties were given us by our creator and the almighty provided us different forms of land waters and all other things to be assigned for every creatures to be their own home and territory that human beings must respect and not to damage and abuse them because every abuse and damage this their habitat would be the death of every creature in there these creatures innocent creatures would not commit a reprisal or vengeance to human beings of our abuse but the disasters are a uh, result itself of our own foolishness of abusing our environment that we can experience now youtubers don't forget we are all cute because all things came from a cute small tiny bit spot across of atom pag binalik ka ng ato magiging muka so be humble always and be charitable to all hi ka cutubers i'm now again to share with you about one of natural hidden treasure of our barangay badlawon which is none other than spring the area spring. Uh, spring this spring, spring, spring is located at the west of badlawon going to barangay san jose or the stream 
Chico this the igot uh, the tanag and the the big uh, area spray located at the Sulay Baguio Vine according to my sister so we can see her we can see the small uh, like a shrub tree and this is tanag this tanag tree were one uh, one of the oldest tree here uh, with uh, of a small stream located was or is considered to be one of the oldest tree here and if not mistakenly considered to have more than a hundred years old tree despite of its small size or height in this tanag tree our parents told us stories about an old woman uh, to be one of their neighbor who came here to take a bath in this tanag spring while she was using her hango were hungot a coconut shell dipper using her hungot as her dipper a coconut uh, shell look when she looked up she saw precious jewelries then she was tempted to pick one of necklace beautifully arranged on the on this on the twigs of the stand at tree then she put it inside her laundry basin and went home but when she got home that necklace uh, at home she wondered that what she got was only a mere ring of vines from the tanag tree this experience made this old woman to have a dementia or losing her normal mind of the mysterious experience in this small spring in tanag tree all of these stories were authentic or legit as being expressed today in our digital age a very legit stories because our parents themselves uh, told us this story and the name they mentioned were their neighbor although i have not to mention here for for to respect for privacy of the present generation another story was about a woman who was losing her hungot uh, using her hungot or coconut shell deeper to draw water was an example uh, from this shallow well from Tanag spring but to her shock when she saw what she had drawn in the water uh, a hungot were treed of small snakes smaller than earthworm grown from the spring and from this poor portion of the stream and spring or, or as a subsidiary spring of Iraya stream I myself saw her different strange colors of turtles, butterflies, dragonflies, and fish, which are not ordinary colors of the species today. We know that these species of different colors are of ordinary species that belong to fairies. But this species should be one of the endangered species now because of modification of their habitat today. Besides, some occupied parts of this stream in the past are now being occupied or the unoccupied part are not being occupied or being used for housing today now that some of this habitat for insects and plants are being destroyed aside from the former ship of lofty hill and cliffs in this part a youtubers before we continue let, no, let me introduce to you about my channel now we will see all the portion of the parts of the is, is small stream here coming from the bigger iraya spring and aside from that there are also still uh, the four have uh, also their own uh, spring with a uh, smaller source of water that runs through with the iraya spring from this stream in the past when i was uh, a kid uh, i had i saw her uh, different uh, strange uh, small insects or kinds of turtles with different strange, strange colors butterflies uh, and dragonfly here as we can see here how the water is so very clean like a crystal like a crystal clear clean potable water another story is about a woman who was using her hungot or coconut shell dipper to draw water look up when she looked up she saw precious jewelries then she was tempted to pick one of Nicholas beautifully arranged on the twigs of this hungot tree. But then she put it inside her laundry basin and went home. But when she got that necklace at home, she wondered that what she got was only a mere ring of vines from the tanag tree. This experience made this old woman to have a dementia for losing her normal mind because of the mysterious experience in this small spring in tanag tree. 
This way is the former way going to San Jose Lower. This turn at three, our parents told us stories about an old woman of 50s to be one of the neighbor who came here to take a bath in this turn at in this turn at spring while she was using her home with a coconut shell dipper. When she had drawn uh, from a shallow tanag spring, but to her shock, when she saw what she had drawn in the, her deeper uh, humut, were three of small snakes, smaller than earthworm drawn from the spring. So mga kakiotobers, ano man po ang katotohanan sa likod ng mga kwentong ito po, uh, sa, lalo na sa ating panahon ngayon sa digital age sa, ng mga millennial na parang sasabihin natin napakahirap paniwalaan. So balit, isa lang po ang mensahe sa atin pong lahat na Ang mga bagay na ito ay ginawa sa atin ang may likha upang ating ingatan at tayo ay sinasaway na ito ay huwag abusuhin at sirain dahil lang sa ating mga sariling uh, kapakanan. Dahil ang bawat uh, nilalang ay mekanika nilang tahanan na tirahan na hindi dapat abusuhin ng sino malalo na ng ating mga tao na kapag sinira ay naitutuhan rin tayo dahil mawawalan tayo ng mga kasama na katulad din nating nilalang na nagkakaroon ng pagkakatulungan sa bawat isa. At kapag sila'y nawala, katulad ng tubig, ng mga punong kahoy, mga kabundukan, mga patag, dagat, ilog at iba pang mga bagay, tayo'y mawawala na rin, katulad din ng kanta ng asin. Na sinasabing sa kalawakan na lang tayo eh, at doon na lang tayo sa ulap magkantahan. Sabi ko pong halos wala pang pinagbago sa lugar na ito ang mga detalye, ang mga nakabisado kong mga daan, ang mga malalaking bato, lalo na ang tanag na sinasabing na higit isang daang taon na sa kabila na siya napakaliit lang at hindi naman masyado mataas. Hindi so, tulad ng puno na rahon at mga iba pang puno na naparanggalang siyan. Uh, at tingnan niyo naman po ang medis ng tubig na ito. Balit ito lang po ang napansin ko dito na meron na kita rin naman. Ang kakaunti rin lang naman ng mga basura na iniwan ang mga naligo. Mga kasi mga shampoo, plastic na plastic na lalagyan ng lalagyan ng shampoo, mga sasya. So ang masasabi ko po sa ating lahat, lalo na sa ating 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 mga kabarangay na huwag naman po sana tayo dito mag-iwan ng anumang basura, lalo na yung mga hindi na bubulok. Dahil ito po ay yung ating alamin, at isang naging bahagi ng buhay ng bawat madlawonon at naging sabulosanon. At katulad nga ng kwento na ito naging inuman na magkaroon ng pandemic dito sa ating lokal na lugar na tinatawag na puko ang pungo to draw water from the tanag tree uh, with a story uh, a woman who was using humot or coconut shell deeper to draw water uh, will become uh, is a uh, dementia or become way uh, out of her mind uh, because of this experience all these stories were authentic and legit as we expressed in our digital age a very legit stories because our parents themselves told us this, told us this story Youtubers, maraming salamat po at abangan nyo po ako sa, sus sa susunod po na aking pag-vlog dahil ang isusunod ko po na binabala kay ang inkantadong uh, Bayugin Spring na tumatalon mula sa mataas na bundok, patalon sa isang ilog, uh, panibago na namang spring. At ang uh, isusunod ko naman po ang isa pang lugar dito sa Madlawon na isa pang pinakatanyag na lugar dito na pinag isang source ng tubig ng aming barangay sa Madlawon na tinatawag na yungib ng bugas cave bugas, uh, bugas cave spring na nagmumula pa ang tubig sa loob ng yungib na tinatawag na bugas yan po ang susunod natin maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanood at sana po isuportahan ninyo po ang aking youtube channel uh, bundyo po kado vlogs huwag kalimutang mag subscribe mag share i-follow, um, mag-share <laughs> at sundan ang aking mga vlogs at syempre po palampagin po ang batingaw ng notification bell upang palagi po kayong advance na makita ang aking mga vlogs hanggang po sa susunod, maraming salamat po tayo po, huwag mo dati pong kalimutan na tayo, tayo pong lahat ay cute dahil tayo ay nagmula sa isang napakaliit cute na particle or bits of atom at ang atong po pag binaliktad ay nagiging muta. So tayo po lang ay katulad po ng muta. 
kaya nagmula sa abo at sa alabo at tayo magbabalik din kaya lagi po tayong magpa alalahanan na tayo po ay magpakumbaba we are all cute we are cutebers maraming salamat po ang inyong ka cutebers abonjo po kado vlog pagkatapos po ng maraming panahon ay bumisita muli po ako sa lugar na ito na may kaunting kaba dahil alam ko na ba po na delinquente ang lugar na ito pag sinabi na unang matatanda delinquente wag po akong pupunta dito ng mga alaganing oras tulad ng ala atanghaling tapat at alauna o hanggang alas dos ng hapon subalit pumunta ako dito alauna ng hapon dahil uh, sinadya ko po na walang tao dahil siyempre medyo kahit vlogger pa ako medyo nahihiya rin po ako sa aking mga kabarangay dito sa Madlaon na mga mabiro uh, pero meron din akong kaunting kaba dahil sabi nga yung inkanto yung mga di nakikita dito na ayun nga po ayun nga sa kwento na totoo naman kwento na may mga nakakita ng, di, ng kababalagan dito na isa lang ang mensahe lang naman sa atin bakit tayo ano ng mga immortal na, na kung hindi naman tayo lalabag at sisira sa kanilang mga pirahan o tinatawag na natural habitat na maging sa mga may buhay ng mga insikto, mga maliit na kulisap at uh, halaman, flora and fauna kailangan po natin silang ingatan at lalo na ang ating kapaligiran mga kakutubers ang unang parte po ng video ito ayon po sa aking sinabi na hindi ko po inedit simula kasi nung mag-edit pa ako ay meron talaga ako narinig na kakaibang sound na parang Uh, iyak o parang boses ng babae yung isa naman ay parang nagsasabi nagagrow nagrow sabi mm. hindi ako na hindi ko intensyon po na manakot subalit so, totoo po ito hindi ko naman alam kung totoo kung baka din naman mayroong malapit doon na talagang nanonood ng television pero wala po yung bato na ito ah, kato, na ayon sa kwento ay marami rin daw nakikita dito na kung ano-ano kaya medyo may kaba rin ako nung pumunta ako dito lalo na ako nag-iisa po ako nung pumunta dito at baka may makita akong kung ano ang bagay yung iba hindi na daw nakauwi ng mga ilang oras 3 ah, hours pero nung tinanong ang sabi ng mga naligaw ng daan ay dahil ga sa mga nakita nilang kaharian daw ay mga minuto lang o segundo daw sila nawawala o, o ilang oras lang samantala 3 hours o kaya 3 days ang iba so balit sa panahon natin ngayon ay parang sabi, sasabihin natin ay napaka imposible yung mangyari yan hindi totoo yan so balit yan ay nangyari ng nakaraang panahon huwag magsyadong matagal na noong unang panahon <laughs> sabi naman ng iba noong araw mga madlawunan tabi na gusto man mag support sa ako channel ayaw ka matawi pagparati raw kaya ako kasi yung paman pero English ang aking ginamit kay dati ko tabi daghanan man ako mga barkada na foreigner ako ano yung kunano na ako dati at lalo na tabi ang mga sibuwan no na mas nakaintindi sila Tagalog pero mas ginusto nila batiin ang English kaysa mag Tagalog kaya simple na naman sa iyo na madlawanan aram na niyo ini kaya dapat ang mas imbitaran ko ang mga tagiba na lugar pero ang but man gusto man tabi ang iyo suportahan ang ako channel salamat tabi sa iyo yung tiro ako tunay na madlawanan kay talagang ako katuman. Salamat. Sa entero man tabi na bulosanan. Salamat man. At sa mga Tagalog naman po na lalo na mga gusto makapunta dito kung tapos na ang pandemic dito. Bumisita po kayo dito sa Bico region. Marami pong magagandang lugar dito. Ang aking binisita isa lang po ito sa pinakamuliit na anyong tubig dito. Subalit so, napakarami pa. Lalo na yung tinatawag na Miliga Biga at da, sa bandang San Roque na dahil sa higpit po ng pandemic ngayon ng mga protocol kaya hindi pa namin mapuntahan kaya hanggat dito na lang kami sa mga liblib-liblib na lugar na maliliit at ito rin naman talagang gusto ko i-vlog ang mga napuntahan ni Ginang ni dating Ginang uh, G, G, G Diaries Gina Lopez so siguro kahit hindi ko napuntahan ang, ang gusto ko pupuntahan yung mga liblib na mga halos hindi naman mga kasulok-sulokan na maliliit lang yun ang nais ko pong ipakita dahil yan naman po ay hindi pa napuntahan ang pinupuntahan po ng mga tanyag na mga nagpapakita ay yung malalaki so yan po ang aking layunin, maraming salamat kahit napakaliit lang po ng spring ito, ng bukali ito ay ayun po sa kwento at hindi lang kwento aktual, kahit ngayon po nung dumating ako dito, uminom ako kasi alam ko ito ay napakasip potable water ito po ay isa sa pinakamalinis na potable water sa aming bayan kahit napakaliit ito pero mayroon pang mas malaki yung source mismo ng pambayang water supply o system 
yung mula sa lubas yan ay malaking bukal ngunit ito sa aming barangay ay sarili po itong bukal ng madlawo na ito ang ginamit kahit nung wala pa pong available na public kasi meron pong public ang madlawon ang barangay madlawon na na gripo ang public po kasi galing po yan sa bugas cave pero kahit meron na po para po sa ibang layunin tulad ng paliligo pag marami pong umiigib gumagamit pag katulad ng mga may piyesta dito po nagsasadya ang aming mga magulang kasama kami sa paglalaba at paliligo dahil nga sa pag napakahabang pilang ng pampubliko subalit ngayon po hindi lang pampubliko meron na pong pang private na gripo dito at lahat na ng bahay ay halos meron ng sariling mga gripo subalit ngayon po ay naging malakas uli ang tubig dito at ngayon ay binibisita na naman ng ilang mga kabataan dito at isa nga po ako sa bumisita na hindi at naman bata sa vlog na ito kalbaan ako sa pagbisita ko din eh dahil nagkanya ako din solo-solo alas dos Siyempre, kung may mood ako sa mga taga-madlawot, pero nakuha na ano din eh, nakakapay na din si Aram na, kung nangarang ko din eh. <laughs> pero sa unod, aninli kayang huwag lang diri man ang mga inkanto. Dahil sanay man ako din eh, sanay pa ako, hindi na ako nagkakarigos. Kundi, ang karawan ako siyang taga-madlawot. Masa't maano man din eh, para masing gamit pang karigos, kundi still pull under ah. <laughs> Aram na, <laughs> salamat mang di hapong tabi. <laughs> Kasi pang kinikan yun, kaya dahil may naimutabi ako na nag-vlog na nagkararigos. Pila ko na ito, mas hindi ko nasabihin ang ngaran. Aran ni Hakbina ang balay. Talamat tabi sa imo, nuno, kay pinadumduma ako na sa imo ini sa magayunon sa dapat ko pa imo na lugar nato Para iba kundi ang area, spring. Ang tanag, ang bubon, na sa mga iba pa na nagtutubo din na tubi, na awas sali sa area. Eh may na agihan namo dati pakadto diretsohon pa San Jose Lower pero niyan binaguna tabian agihan. Ako tabi wara man sin in sasabi dahil kita tabi intero resp may responsibility po ta sini tabi na ato lugar kaya kung pidi tabi diri na kita din magbiling sin mga diri na bubulok na basura o mas kinano na basura kay makalat din ang ate dahil para man ini sa ato kay ini inuman ini na tubi na ini nan say ini sa magayuno na lugar din sa ato sa mahalagahon na lugar ini na mga lugar na ini tanag iraya na diri man lugod ini maraot na lugar ta maski sa iba nang bulosan ng tabi sa maski kun taga diin man kamo na mayon man kamo sing sugad sini na ingatan tan ato lugar gahoy na iraya na nagtutubod na uh, Iraya Spring o Iraya, bukal ng Iraya dito sa Madlawon, Bulusan, Sorsogon uh, Makunan ko ng video ang mga lugar na to ay nagmandali pa akong umuwi dahil siyempre kahit pa paano uh, kahit malakas ang load ko at siyempre may pananampalataya ako sa Diyos medyo kinakabahan din naman ako uh, kahit pa paano dahil matagal na ako hindi dumalaw dito sa lugar na to dalo na nung magkaroon na ng gripo ang mga kabahayan at lalo na ako ito mira ng mat medyo matagal sa Maynila at dahil, dahil sa mga kwento na yan kahit pa ako isa na yun na dito dito ako naliligo nung bata pa ako may ka ba rin at alanganing oras ako nang pumunta yun ang pinagbabawal ng matatanda sabi eh sanghaling tapat alauna at alas dos alanganin at ako pa yun nag-iisa pa <laughs> kaya nagbandali na akong umuwi Nga, sabi ng sabi nga lang ng ang kanta ng asin na ang takot ay nasa isip lamang subalit dahil sa takot ang takot din ang umiiwas sa atin sa panganib dahil dahil sa takot natin umiiwas tayo sa panganib at tayo nag-iingat na sa isang lugar na pupuntahan bago tayo pumunta kung hindi tayo natatakot hindi tayo mag-iingat kahit anong bagay lang ay gagawin natin at hindi natin isipin ang ating pupuntahan subalit yan ang mahalaga at huwag lang tayong buwa ng mga sama sa kapwa at kahit sa kalikasan ay wala, wala tayong dapat katakutan all are cute because all things came from the tiny small particles bits of atom and there are still uh, subatomic quark so we are all small we are all tiny we are all cute youtubers thank you
mamadali na ako sa pag-uwi sa kapakuhan dati kaabakan may mga kaabakan din eh dati may mga hagnaya mga kurakbing etc pagay yung isang lugar yan ang tanag na istaran san mga inkanto ang bato ang mga batong ito ay nilolomot na dahil bihira nga lang mga nangapuntahan nilolomot na yung mga kabatohan dito at sana nga po madala